A local middle school class is growing their own food inside their classroom. The Smart Farm produces hundreds of plants a semester, all in a space about the size of a closet. News 13's Natalie Wattis was able to join Mr. McGinnis's class at Roosevelt Middle School today to see their creation. There's something growing in Mr. McGinnis's sixth grade classroom. Actually, a lot of somethings. Basil and peppermint and lettuce. Lots and lots of lettuce. So this is our smart farm prototype. Uh, we designed this. A vertical farm six years in the making. It's aimed at creating a solution to growing populations and shrinking habitats. And it turns out it's a lot more efficient than we expected. Uh, we've eliminated the need for herbicides and pesticides. We're saving a tremendous amount of water. So how does it work? The students in Mr. McGinnis's classroom know best. The process starts in the, the germination tray over here. After they've sprouted, we take them out like this since they're not actually in any soil. They're in a plug. We just take these and we put them in the baskets and then transfer them straight to the growth tower. Here, sprinklers drip water down onto the plant's roots, recirculating only five or six gallons of water. We had a full harvest uh, and ate about 200 salads using less water than the shower that you, used, uh, that you took this morning. The whole contraption cost about $1,700 to build and is pretty self-sustaining. We use red lights for them flowering and then blue lights for them to like um, grow faster. With the lights and irrigation system on timers, it can be left to grow in class even when everyone is gone for break. And the amount of power that it would take to run this whole operation is less than you would use to run your laptop for a day. The best part for students? <laughs> Getting to eat the harvest. You can eat them like this, like same with yeah. basil. No way. Right. So are you just in class like munching on snacks here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. McGinnis calls it the farming of the future, happening right here in Roosevelt Middle School. Roosevelt! Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. Now they were able to create the smart farm thanks to funding from UNM and a $1,500 grant from the APS Foundation, which seeks out unique classroom projects. Mr. McGinnis says he wants to share this prototype with the world in hopes of creating a greener future.